judo gi should I buy? So many to choose from. Everybody seems to be making one today. Blue, white, double weave, single weave. I just don't know where to start. There's always Adidas. It's got the cool stripes on the shoulders. Strong. Hey, I mean, I even look like I can do judo just by wearing it. This should be a good choice. Then there's Old Faithful, Mizuno. Made in Japan. I think I must have learned three or four new techniques just by putting it on. And the blue is just so new school. I think I'll buy this one too. If you're anything like me, every time you see a judo gi on the internet or in one of the competition videos that we all watch, you gotta have it. Somehow we think that if we have that gi, we're magically going to become better judo players. And unfortunately that's not true once we get it in the mail, but uh, we still gotta have it. And with the rise in popularity of martial arts now, all these companies are getting into the game creating uh, uniforms, grappling uniforms for all the different styles that are coming out now. But in the world of judo, uh, there are many judo uniforms as well. But two of the big names are Mizuno and Adidas. Now Mizuno is a high quality uniform that I think everybody knows about. It's worn by the Japanese teams and many competitors around the world. And Adidas, also super high quality, worn by the Korean team commonly, and also many, many competitors around the world. So the two that I'm going to be talking about today are the Mizuno Supreme, which is the model number is going to be 127. If you go to some of the websites uh, in America, it might be uh, 1027, but uh, it's the same uniform. It's the Mizuno Supreme. And the white uniform is my Adidas, and that's the Adidas Champion. Now that's the J930 uh, model number. So those are the two that I'm going to be going over. So our reasons for, par for buying judo uniforms differ for everybody, but the three things that I'm going to talk about are the fit, the feel, and the functionality of these two geese and how they match up against each other. The biggest difference in the fit is going to be around the armpit, uh, around the shoulder joint. Now, uh, the Mizuno has a lot more material uh, under your armpit and around your shoulder. Now, here are the, here are the two geese at the shoulder, as you can see with the Adidas. Uh, I'm at the shoulder. This is where the, uh, the Adidas stripes are. And you can see clearly there's about an inch or two uh, more material in the Mizuno. The Mizuno Supreme is the blue gi here. Uh, what that does is the Mizuno allows just for a little bit more of a feeling of freedom in your movement uh, around your chest and around your shoulders because of that. Uh, it's not just in the armpit, but it's also throughout the entire sleeve. There seems to be a lot more material based on the size. Now, in the thick of uh, practice, randori, or if you're in a competition, um, you may or may not notice a difference if you like to have a freer feel then the Mizuno is going to be a little better that way. Uh, but if you like to have a more snug, stronger feel, I guess you would, that, that secure feeling, then the Adidas is going to be the better choice. The feel of the two uniforms is where I find the greatest difference. Um, the Mizuno is definitely a lighter gi. Uh, it, f it has a, a lighter feel on your body. Also, uh, for heating up your body or in the hot weather, uh, it seems to be, maybe it's a little more breathable, it's just thinner feeling around the entire torso and you don't overheat as easily. I know when it's summertime and I've got the uh, Adidas on, I really start to sweat really easily and I seem to get overheated a little more quickly than I do with the, uh, with the Mizuno. I mean we get overheated anyway because you're wearing a, a double weave uniform in the middle of summer so it's kind of hard not to get hot but you're, it's definitely a little bit more with the Adidas. Functionality, like I mentioned before, the two biggest things are the mobility and the gripping. The difference in the way the, uh, the material allows your opponent to grip your uniform. Uh, it's much more difficult with the Adidas. The, the thick collar uh, around the chest, the material is super thick, as well as on the back around the shoulders. It's, it's going to be much harder for somebody to take a high grip on you and just to grab your collar in general. Both of these uniforms are super heavy duty double weave uniforms and both are IJF approved. So you can't go wrong either way. It really ultimately boils down to a couple things. Your preference and your body type. But in my opinion 
The advantage uh, for mobility and movement is going to go to the Mizuno Supreme. Um, just with the extra material, it's a little bit lighter. Uh, I think you're going to be better off with that. If you're looking for something that's going to feel a little bit stronger on you, be a little stiffer gi, make it a lot more difficult for your opponent to grip your collar, also to grip your, uh, your sleeves, just because the material feels a little stiffer and there's slightly less material around your arm, it's going to make it more difficult. The advantage is definitely with the Adidas. Now, depending on where you shop online or, or if you go to a store or whatnot, the Mizuno Supreme is going to run you generally in the vicinity of, say, $250 to $300. Uh, the, the Adidas Champion is going to be somewhere between $150 and $170. Overall, for the reasons that I said before, I think the advantage uh, for the better gi is going to be the Mizuno. Slight advantage, uh, depending on what you're looking for. But, bang for the buck. Uh, if you're looking, if you're on a budget, or if you're just looking for a super awesome gi and not having to, to break the bank too much, I would say the advantage definitely goes to the Adidas Champion. Either way, you can't go wrong. They're both outstanding gis, and they're going to last you a long, long time, even if you're a, a big-time competitor. So that's it. Uh, that's my take on it. If you have any other questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.